Welcome back everybody to Rally Adventure. So I've just won the Meridian race that we unfortunately didn't win in the last episode. Got there in the Renault 8 Gordini by winning it uh, in the uh, race, uh, but only by just over a second uh, quicker than the uh, 1965 Mini. So let's see what winning this race unlocks us. Hey, more challenges! Horizon Raptors is running like clockwork. We get this competition sewn up. I don't even need to know which of us would win in a race. <laughs> right, so we've got that one up there. We've got one right next to us and a danger sign as well. So let's just do the danger sign first. Get in a quicker car because this Gordini, as much as I enjoy it, is not the quickest of vehicles. Oh, there's a new team ready to unlock as well. Right, doing great out there. Who are you going to sign with next? Ooh, Grit Reapers. I like the sound of those guys. It's time, my friend. Time to learn who is the real jefe of Great Reapers and Sierra Nueva. Don't worry, you can have time to build your reputation and win your races first. El jefe isn't going anywhere. So that's a lot new. Let's give this so. a try. If people like it, I can put on more events. Maybe they'll even want to see you and I race, no? Cool, so now we're going to mix it up now, so instead of just doing the, the dirt ones, so uh, yep, we're going to obviously uh, try out the danger sign first, like I said. It's giving us up a load of new things. Got a challenge of the reward. There we go. Let's get in a uh, quicker car than the Gordini. Car types. We want rally. Rally, oh, rally monsters, rally monsters. So, what do we think? I'm gonna go with the super. Got plenty of power, decent rate of top speed. Uh, it's pretty formidable off road as well. So, uh, get a bit of a run up for this danger sign. around when it is safe to do so. Got that mini getting in the way. I see. If you and I were co-drivers, we'd be unstoppable. <laughs> Wait. Rami, are you on this line? Of course, my friend. I'm stealing all your pace notes. Personal best, but is that even enough for one star? Yes, it is just about. We're not doing that challenge thing. How do we get rid of those? One star there. What did we need for two? Oh, we're only three feet off. If we didn't hit that mini, we would have got that. Let's try it one more time. Always try it twice. Let's see if we can do any better. Your should make the full 125 there. Yes, and then some. So at least we've got two stars. We should keep bringing back the goddamn thing to do. Um, I don't want to do that. Stop pinning it automatically, please. Alright, so let's go and do a race. Let's do this one, the Rugged Dunes. Let's choose a different kind of vehicle to get in, because the one good thing about this game, is, well, this expansion, is the fact that we already had a lot of rally cars to choose from, uh, from the base game. Either ones that were added in via the base game, or ones that have been in numerous other uh, Forza games before. So, uh, yeah, obviously not just Rally in Monsters, but we also have Retro Rally, and... Uh, Classic Rally as well. I think we'll start off with Classic Rally to be honest, so... 
yeah, we've got a fair few to choose from. We've got the likes of the Volvo, the Mini Cooper, the 8 Gordini that we've already uh, hinted at using in the uh, in the opening of this episode. So, yeah, the 4 GT70 is one of my favourites, even though it was unfortunately not competitive. It didn't actually compete. Um, we'll go for the classic racing Escort Mark 1, though. See where uh, Ford's rally uh, pedigree started from. And then we'll try out some of the Grit Reaper and stuff. This is a mixed surface run through the quarry to the oasis. Multiple jumps, tight corners, ascents and descents. No problem, right? Hopefully not. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Hard left. Quite a high rev again, John, this thing. With your right. Quite soft suspension, Easy you can right. see by the body roll. Crest, into medium right. Easy left. Crest, then medium left. Flat out. To third place to start. Medium right. First split. Medium left. Medium left. Into medium right. Square right. Into gravel. Bumps. Nice quarry. Easy bit, right. Nice. Into medium left. Crest. Hard right. Just a second. Into hard left. Easy right. Medium right. Jump. Then hard left. Have the best get up and go out of slow corners, but once it gets right. going, it's pretty good. Crest. Hairpin left. Easy right. Medium left. Slip back. Bumps. Then easy right. Press. Followed pace. by medium left. Bumps. Into medium left. Jump. Into easy left. Easy left. Easy right. Water. Followed by medium right. Square well, uh, left. Video right. Video right. Video left. And hard left. See. Followed by easy left. Video right. Pace. Into water. Hard right. Easy left. Bit to the floor, mate. We've got second there. Yeah. That's decent. Um, but yeah, obviously, a couple of hiccups there would have uh, helped us go into first. And we weren't mega far off on just over a second, the Renault 8. But that's obviously been heavily upgraded to get into this B class. So. Uh, yeah, they've probably done wonders with that upgrade. I know myself personally that uh, B class um, Renault 8 Gordini is pretty damn quick, so. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it was probably a slouch. It's got a bit windy and rainy. Right, we'll win that in our own time, although we might want well to visit it again in terms of a. Uh, Normal race, but yeah, let's check out the Turn around reapers. when it is safe to do so. These have to work for. Let's take a look at some off road vehicles. So, uh, yeah, we've got the likes of the Performance Bronco, the McCann, the Porsche, 
Mini John Cooper works, X Raid, another Ford, and another Mini. Uh, I think we'll go for the McCann. It's a pretty solid vehicle, got plenty of power and torque as you can see. Weighs a fair bit, but no le uh, certainly less than the Bronco, which I don't for the life of me know how that weighs six and a half thousand pounds. But yeah, let's see what the uh, McCann can do. Not a fave, not um, particularly um, receptive to the standard car, but we're starting at the Oasis and gunning for the cool. glory to the dunes. It will be technical, but you can handle it. Trust me. Trusting the weather, on the other hand. It's a weather that kind of thing that needs gripping. Five, four, three, two, more, uh, one, the, uh, go! Difficult side, I imagine. Easy right. Hard left. Followed by water. Medium left. Water certainly won't come out. Medium right. Trouble this car. Followed by hard right. It's ground, ground clearance. Medium Suspension. right. Suspension. Easy left. Medium left, square right, then easy right. Easy left, into water. Easy left. Basically the street scene races. Easy left, but rally. then easy right. Oh, looks like easy the, right, flares. jump baby. Like. Medium right. Medium right. Crest into easy left. Medium right. Easy left, followed by hairpin right. Slightly off the cup right. Easy right. Medium left. Hard right. Jump, then hard left. Left into hard right. Hard left. Easy right into bumps. This car does like to get its tail out a little bit. Easy left, then bumps. Square left, then surface change to asphalt. Asphalt. Medium left, then medium right. Medium right on this surface. Especially given it's wet. Easy left. Crest into medium right. Don't know how we have such a big lead, but what we do? Easy right. Medium left. left into hard left hard right finish a bit of time left. I think we got first yes we did don't know why we were able to get such a big lead with that maybe the car is as good as it is mm. Yeah, still massive lead for us, and uh, yeah, nice to see for once. And uh, yeah, not sure they're doing as wonders. Let's win this. This is the one that we uh, tried at the beginning, was it not? Of the uh, series? Yeah, it was. I don't want to actually do that again. Unless we uh, come back to it and try and do a race. So, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, what else have we got? We've got a drift zone to try out. What do we need to get for that? 70,000 on the... Uh, we need to pick a more suitable vehicle, I feel, for this. Now, when you think of drifting, you think Japanese. So I feel like maybe Subaru. But let's check out this first. What do we get? This is where we track every wild Clothing. challenge you take on for Great Reapers. Don't worry, I already sent pictures to Alejandra. So I feel like... It's 
Time for the Subaru that I'm feeling. Or the Subaru. <laughs> then the Honda here has some more acceleration and a little bit less handling, which I might. Yeah, I think that will um, help us get a bit more out of control and therefore be a bit more on the uh, drifting side of things. Because you don't want the best handling in a drift car. You want enough, but not so much that you're not going to have the ability to slide out. So, uh, let's see if we can get 70,000 points out of that. I'm not the best drifter by any means, so. Able to get much out of this in terms of advice or anything because I'm no expert at drifting whatsoever. You have arrived at your I've very nearly got the full 70,000 there. I feel like if we can do it that way. We let us. Let's try entering that again. That seems to be a good choice I feel. So, uh, yeah, that'll certainly help, and there's a new race up there by the things. Let's go through this. Sierra's Verdes. Let's have a look at Modern Rally, what have we got in here to choose from? A load of Subarus and a couple of Mitsubishis. We've not really used Mitsubishi to be honest. That's an upgraded version so I won't be using that. I don't like using upgraded vehicles so... Old or new. We'll go with old. We've used a new car with that Honda on that drift zone and obviously the Porsche was relatively new so let's go for an older car. It's still no slouch, nearly 300 horsepower, and that all-wheel drive system being the notes impeccable for this one in, keep, in terms of keeping that power down. The surface, bumps, very bad off-camber turns and crests, tight corners, and hairpins. Woo-hoo-hoo! Les vamos! Okay, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, go! It should be a little bit more agile than the Porsche. Easy left. Being lighter and smaller. Easy left. Less powerful. Into easy right. Hard left. Medium left. Corner of it on. Easy right. Medium right. Into water. Medium right. Then easy left. So it won't be as good for the water Press. as the Porsche. Into medium right. Medium left. Into easy right. Left into hard right. Just about got to first there. Crest. Okay. Then easy corner. right. Crest into easy right. Bumps into hard left. Medium left. Brakes aren't the best on this. I imagine the tyres are a little bit more road focused than road right, focus as well. Then medium right. Probably isn't helping with these work conditions. Medium right, then easy left. Somehow not lost in the first place though. Bumps, then hard right. Easy left, 
then flat out. Floor it. Come on, Easy use all right, that power. Into medium right. Heavy lift. Water again. Then flat out. Thinner side of the river. Medium right. Through as much of it. Then crest. Square left. Medium right. Then crest. Come on, come on, come on. Does seem to have a little bit of turbo lag on this car. Medium left. Into crest. Anti lag would obviously help. Medium right. Into jump, maybe. Split Medium zone. left into easy left. Getting the lead again now. Jump. Decent one as well. Hairpin Big right. Jump. Medium left. Medium right into crest. No. Medium left. Hit. If you have anything left, my friend, now is the time! One mile an hour more. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, the Mitsubishi coming through there. A couple of hiccups from me in terms of the corners, but I was generally just trying to get used to how the car handled. But yeah, it's, the Grit Reapers are seeming to be really rather fun races as well. A little bit less difficult than maybe the... Um, the other team that we're a part of, but still, uh, yeah, really, really rather fun regardless, and uh, yeah, like the whole weather aspects that are, and the nighttime driving that are with the Grit Reapers, so uh, yeah, still plenty to play with this game, because we still haven't unlocked the third team, and obviously with not unlocking the third team means we've got plenty of those races to deal with, but we feel like we've only really just touched on the Grit, Grit Reapers one as well, so uh, yeah, still plenty more for this uh, expansion to go through, and uh, yeah, really enjoying it, hope you guys are too. But nonetheless, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.